Hello everyone, my name is Varya Srivastava. I'm the VP of Product and Government Affairs for Network Capital. In today's presentation, I would like to talk to you about my experience of working with the Government of India to organize a completely digital bootcamp to teach entrepreneurship to school students all across India. This bootcamp is called the Tinkerpreneur Bootcamp and has been organized by Niti Aayog's Atal Innovation Mission. Uh, Network Capital, a community for lifelong learning and a career advancement platform for over 100,000 millennials and Gen Z, has been a partner organization of Atal Innovation Mission right from its inception in 2016. Atal Innovation Mission is Government of India's initiative to scale innovation and entrepreneurship across the country. Um, within Atal Innovation Mission, there are something called Atal Tinkering Labs, which are essentially innovation and entrepreneurship hubs within 10,000 schools across the country. To actually enable learning, tinkering, and exploration in these Atal Tinkering Labs, Atal Innovation Mission has created a vibrant community of mentors of change who are essentially working professionals like you and I who volunteer two to three hours every week to mentor these students in whatever their area of expertise is. Um, as learning and education moved online in 2020, all the mentoring activities and initiatives in Adult Tinkering Labs also went digital. And as mentors started with these sessions, um, I, along with the team at Adel um, Innovation Mission, really started thinking about how can we create um, digitally native learning experiences for students and leverage the power of internet to centralize as well as decentralize experiences. And um, with that, I'd like to introduce you to the Tinkerpreneur Bootcamp. The Tinkerpreneur Bootcamp was launched on 1st June 2021. It's a nine week long bootcamp that teaches students how to set up digital ventures. Um, there are nine weeks, like I mentioned, and each week has a specific theme in which students learn parts of setting up an online business. And by the end of it in week nine, they would have created a complete product, a business model, a marketing system, and would have learned how to pitch this idea to prospective investors as well as customers. Um, this bootcamp was designed, like I mentioned, keeping two things in mind, the internet's ability to centralize information and provide the best content and information that exists in the world to everyone, as well as decentralize and provide that personalization and one-on-one -on -one interaction that's really required to enable quality education. And with this, I'd like to introduce you to the three components that build the Tinkerpreneur Bootcamp. The first component of the Tinkerpreneur Bootcamp is a Tinkerpreneur portal that we have created um, along with the support of NIC. Um, this portal basically creates a vibrant repository of all information and resources that guide students from week one to week nine and provide them information, um, tutorials, as well as um, other points and information that they require to learn fundamentals of the themes that are there in each of the week. To give you a very specific example, week one is about acquiring digital skills, that, uh, which students can use to then eventually create a digital product. So for this, we had identified over 22 digital skills and student had, students had access to all learning materials, open source software that they would need to pick up these skills. Similarly, in week four and five, as they looked at marketing and building a revenue model for your product, students had resources to different kinds of information and case studies that exist so that they could adopt them based on what they needed. The second layer of the bootcamp is essentially the YouTube live sessions that we host anywhere between four to six times a week. These sessions are conducted by some of the best entrepreneurs as well as professors from across the country who come in and provide support to these students and give specific insights, case studies, and actionable steps that students can adopt to proceed in each week of the bootcamp. And the final 
and the most important layer of this is the mentor and student interaction. The bootcamp has over 14,000 students who have registered, as well as 800 mentors who have volunteered to mentor these students. Each mentor is mapped to be anywhere between 14 to 15 students. And these mentors then spend one-on-one -on -one time with these 14 to 15 students and provide them guidance, input, feedback as they proceed with each week of the bootcamp. This way, what we've been able to do is A, create a repository of information and knowledge that's the best in the world that exists so that all students have equal access to knowledge and information and at the same time, create a structure that each student has to kind of personalize guidance, feedback and input they need to do well. Um, and with this structure there, what I'd like to highlight or what the takeaways from the bootcamp are essentially twofold. One is the role of public-private partnership in creating um, learning experiences like the Tinkerpreneur Bootcamp. What Atal Innovation Mission has done extremely well in the bootcamp is engage with its partner organizations like Network Capital. One of the best things that Network Capital has been able to do is create cohort-based fellowships, um, the model for which has been replicated to teach entrepreneurship to students. Um, similarly, a lot of experts that have done sessions in the Tinkerpreneur Bootcamp have been Network Capital members, as well as professors, and entrepreneurs from other partner organizations of Atel Innovation Mission. This includes IIT Delhi, um, Dell, Microsoft, Adobe, and so on. Um, along with public-private partnership, what is extremely critical in bringing all of this together is civic participation and engagement of people. It is the 800 mentors who have sort of come together and decided to devote time to these students and provide them the guidance that they need which has really made the experience of this bootcamp fantastic for the students. Um, students get inputs and guidance, which they have never received in their life. They get mentored by people who are some of the leading professionals in India um, from the startup ecosystem, from the corporate world, as well as some from academia or professors in universities across the country. And what this does for students is opens a completely new window or horizon for learning and access and opportunity for the students. Um, for everyone who's watching this video, I think something that's very important to take away from the Thinkerpreneur experience is the ability to replicate this model to create other learning experiences and modules for school students. Something that the pandemic has made all of us question is really what should we be teaching our students and how? Um, and what a bootcamp like Thinkerpreneur does is it creates a time bound framework within which students can learn specific skills and have tangible outcomes. And for students who like this, they obviously always have the opportunity to go deeper and rather students who perform the best in this bootcamp will get further mentorship and incubation support for their digital ventures. But for all the other students who participated, it gave them an exposure and, and an opportunity to learn something they wouldn't have otherwise gotten to do. Um, I think such bootcamps can be replicated to introduce students to a wide range of professional opportunities, sectors, as well as skills that will really prepare them to navigate the complexities of work and education in the 21st century. And as these boot camps are designed and created, I think the true backbone that will make them successful um, would actually be partnerships where resources are mobilized and put together in a way that uh, we are able to provide the best to the students, as well as engaging civic participation and getting people who are who would like to volunteer their time and support such initiatives to come and engage with the students directly. I think a big burden within um, online education has come on teachers who have been forced to adapt and learn in different and difficult ways. And by engaging other people who have the time, we are giving the space for teachers also to take a step back and um, do what they're essentially trained and appointed to do. 
So with that, I'd like to thank you for listening to this presentation. I would love to speak to you if you have any more questions about the Linkopreneur Bootcamp, Artil Innovation Mission, or my work at Network Capital. Thank you so much.